So now I think my next mission is to see how many miles I can run with zero training. Zero workup, zero buildup, and all these drinks. Let's go. Three miles, 10 beers, no training. Hiked a mountain yesterday. I'll take it. I think I can run a marathon tomorrow. Welcome back to part three of Couch to Marathon. The first five weeks, here's the plan we've put out so far. Can't believe we got up to four and a half miles on the last video. And here's the total mileage we've put in since we started running. Can't believe we went from zero to 10 a week, and then it was eight, and then 11 a week. And you can see we're starting to ramp up. <clears throat> Whoa, I look like shit. It's a little windy. My whoop says I peaked. Uh, we're on vacation. I didn't sleep much the night before, but I slept pretty good last night, despite what I look like. Um, about ready to run. I still look like, I don't know. I look like I'm pretending to play dress up as a runner. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel. Well, so on travel, my, my knee with the drive and the plane and my ankle slash Achilles area started being sore. So both those on the same left leg. Um, we're gonna see what happens when we bust out three miles today to stick with training and determine if we need to rest tomorrow or run the four. Me right now in that headwind. I'll have to, I'll record this in a minute. Stubborn. When I decided to do this, and we were on a mountain in Curacao, and I was like, I told Jess, I said, hey, if I stop drinking, I think I can be an elite athlete. I just haven't stopped the drinking part. We're on vacation though, so it's hard, you know, you wanna have a few beers and relax, and that's what I did. And then got up early, ate a banana, took off. Too many layers for Florida, even in the morning. So tomorrow we dress down for the four mile. The left knee didn't bother me. The right knee, which is my original bad knee, is actually one started being a little sore today. So we'll monitor, we'll assess. Uh, nothing too bad that I think that means we should stop running. So we're gonna keep running. All right, here we go. Day two vacation. Uh, it's gonna be a four mile run. Uh, and I drank less Modelo's last night. So, and it's not 20 mile per hour winds. It's just a little above 10 mile per hour winds. Shouldn't be as bad. Let's get it. So we have an interesting development. That four mile run was the easiest four mile run, possibly the easiest anything over one and a half mile run of my life. <laughs> um, I did see where I guess you can start to get bored after this point. Uh, as it was going, uh, I was a little worried if I was gonna get bored after the two and a half, three mile mark. Um, but I'm listening to a podcast. Uh, I hope it keeps me entertained. The only issue that I found today, um, a little while my right leg, which we'll call my bad leg, I had my ACL repaired in 2001. It ached just a little bit. And then my, I have a toe on my right foot that feels like it's rubbing. So I'm going to check that out. I don't know. It's toe versus toe. So I don't know if it's a nail or what. Pretty excited though. And although that was easy and it's feeling better than ever to run, I do wonder if my body might not let me go many more miles than four. Um, I have three on Thursday and then five on Saturday back home in the cold again. And that'll be the most ever. Um, we'll see if we get there. I was thinking, you know, if I made it past the 10K that's next weekend, that I'd for sure be in for this. But as I progress in mileage, I'm wondering what is the point where I'll know I'm for sure uh, in this. Still cosplaying as a runner. Right, we're dressed for success. Another long day at work. I'm got a three mile run coming up that is gonna save me the three miles tomorrow morning because it's gonna be pouring rain and then we gotta fly out. So I'm running three now. It's gonna be a trail run in the Sauconies whatever they're called, they're my trail, they're my disc golf shoes. Um, it's not really a trail, it's like packed down sand here. The only decent view on this trail. Pretty pretty though. Whew. Three miles, sandy trail run, almost my normal pace in the Saucony trail shoes. Man. I don't know, three, four miles might be my sweet spot. But right now, I feel pretty good doing it. I never would have imagined that. 
but I feel pretty good. All right, today is the five mile run day. Back when I first started running and doing these videos, I said that if I went over four miles, I would sign up for the marathon. So is this official? I am running with Hager again for the long run. Um, it's raining. My phone did not show rain. When I walked the dog this morning, it didn't show rain. So I'm just wearing my usual gear with no rain jacket. We'll see how it goes and we'll sign up for a marathon today. Five miles. Uh, the first half mile, I was like, what the heck are we doing in the cold? It hurts. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. And then after that, the four and a half with him, me and Hager talking, it just flew by. It was, it was at two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and then five before I knew it. it that is amazing. Um, I guess I'm gonna go home and sign up for a marathon. How crazy is that? And then we just hope I can keep it up, keep up this schedule, this plan, and stay injury free, start working on nutrition, add more to these videos, and kicking some butt. I just ran five with Hager. <laughs> uh, look out, kitty. I'm starting to get a little emotional. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting ready to go sign up for the marathon, which... Um, <laughs> I've always said I'm never running. Hager would invite me. I'm never running. I'm not a runner. I'm never running over a mile. Uh, I have no reason to ever. It's so stupid. Um, but here we are. I'm getting ready to sign up for a marathon. I'm fucking crying about it for some reason. I'm proud. Um, and we're not even there yet. We got a long way to go. We're not even there yet.